You know, I never thought I would have to make this video about a CD Projekt Red game, but after the fifth crash for Cyberpunk, I just gotta, I gotta talk about it, man. This game, and uh, it's not a secret to anybody keeping up with it right now, uh, it's in a pretty rough state. It is a non-playable mess on, uh, on last-gen consoles on PS4 and Xbox One, and uh, to really get the product that they showed, you gotta have a super high-end PC, which is, you know, that's to be expected if you want to have, you know, ray tracing and, you know, all the the whole nine yards there. Um, I will say, for the most part, for me, on PS5, I've had a fairly positive experience overall, but the sheer amount of bugs and the crashes have just become <sighs> rampant, to say the least. It is, um, you know, I was kind of giving them the benefit of the doubt off the rip uh, because, you know, day one patch and the hot fix, you know, it was <laughs> an extra 70 gigs worth of, uh, of patches and uh, of fixes that were put in the game. And I will say that for the bugs after the hot fix, a large, you know, they were less frequent and uh, not nearly as um, game-breaking or uh, pulling me away from the immersion, so to say. But I just want to kind of talk about where CDPR is right now in the state of everything. Uh, you know, their their stock is dropping. The, the game is getting horrible review scores uh, on, like, Metacritic and everywhere else. This game needed to be delayed again. It needed another delay, I would say, probably at least for, at the least, another three months you know, at the most, at, you know, six, you know, maybe even in the summer of next year to really iron out every single thing. There's so many small issues and so many small things that are just, that just take away from the experience of the game. And I don't want this to sound 100% negative because I am thoroughly enjoying the game. I love Night City. I love the story so far with where it's going. I think it's a lot of fun. The gameplay is kind of iffy here and there. I don't know how I feel on it 100% yet. I'm probably about maybe 10 hours in on the game, uh, somewhere in that ballpark. But the, the bugs and the crashes have just made this, made this game super, super hard to play. And for a lot of people it's unplayable in general just you know no matter where they're playing it at be it pc new gen consoles or the old ones it's just too much for some people and they can't look past them uh at the at the rest of the experience to you know to, to make that playable and that's a completely valid point uh to them and you know you can't flack people you can't flack them for that you know um i really think a delay would have been the right call here, but I understand why they didn't. You know, it's been an incredibly challenging year for everybody and game developers especially. So, you know, there's a bit of a caveat with it, you know? It's like, I don't want to make excuses for them by any, by any means because it's an unfinished product. But if they were to delay it again, it would be marketing suicide. It would kill so much of the hype. It would you would lose so much trust in the players and uh, in the people who pre-ordered in you know, your stockholders and shareholders, all that. They were really caught between a rock and a hard place on this one, and they had to push the game out. That I mean, that's pretty much it. what it is. They, the game wasn't finished. It wasn't polished up. It wasn't debugged completely. I think the right call would have been to delay the game again. My cat's going crazy. It very, very obviously needs that extra time in the oven, and they just didn't get it. It's uh, I don't want to say it's half baked because I still think there is a um, there is a great game underneath all those bugs and all those issues. It's just this game is not going to be the game that it needs to be at least for another few months. Um, I will commend CD Projekt Red for the uh, the speed in which they're putting out these hot fixes you know they're two patches you know two giant patches in already 
So they are actively trying to remedy this and make it uh, so it's not egregious and uh, unplayable for a lot of people. Um, so it's a uh, it's a very unfortunate thing because this was, you know, one of the most anticipated and one of the most hyped games, uh, you know, in years. And you know, is it a victim of being overhyped and having the highest expectations placed on it? Of course it is. No game is going to be able to live up to those exceedingly high expectations. Having having this super buggy launch off the rip just really killed any momentum this game had. So it's uh, it's it's a really unfortunate thing. I think this game is salvageable. I think this game will be great and will be the masterpiece that we know it can be and that CD uh, Projekt Red can make it, it's just going to take them a long time to get it to that point. Um, I do still plan on doing a review, but at this point, so much of the faults and uh, things that I hate about this game are bug-related, are things that are not directly tied to the overall... Uh, narrative or the gameplay or the world itself it's all technical issues and you know at at this point at launch with the product that we currently have i simply can't recommend this game i really can't and that's unfortunate to say because i love cd project dread they're one of my favorite developers i'm i mean i got two witcher statues back here two witcher figures they are incredible incredible creators and it just, they just didn't have enough time, which is a hard thing to believe, seeing as this game took eight years, roughly, to make. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this has been extremely rambly. Um, I just, I'm kind of just beaten down, honestly, by, um, by what's happening with this game. You know, I love it so much right now, just from what I've played. I've and, enjoying it immensely but when the bugs hit it's just it is soul crushing um they are a lot of times uh, a lot of times minor and just kind of laughable and then at other points they're just so bad that that it hinders gameplay and keeps you from progressing and you have to restart the game or it just flat out crashes and uh it's just uh unfortunate very unfortunate. Um, Cyberpunk fans, please don't hate me too much for this video. I know all of us CDPR shills out there don't want to admit that the game is in a really, really bad state right now. But it's important to call a spade a spade and to try to look at things as unbiased as you possibly can because otherwise mediocrity becomes the standard but yeah that's going to do it for this one guys thank you so much for sitting through this rambly mess i hope to see you guys again soon maybe with some more cyberpunk stuff maybe not who knows we'll see have a good one